good gracious. Georgia, 41, Tennessee, 17. Post-game win expectancy, Georgia, 97%. And Tennessee had them on the ropes early. That that tempo really, really got to Georgia, I think. You you look at some of the numbers here. Like, Hendon Hooker had a really good day against them. 24 out of 37, 244 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Tennessee couldn't run the football. And that's, I mean, that's how Tennessee typically gets their offense going, is running the football. And they started out early not having to worry with it because they knew that the way to to get them to ease up on the run was hit them over the top, hit them across the middle, find ways to get playmakers the ball. Cedric Tillman for Tennessee, by the way, 10 receptions, 200 yards receiving, and had one touchdown. On the other side, James Cook, 10 carries, 104 yards, two touchdowns. He had three receptions for 43 yards and a touchdown. I mean... And they, Georgia ran the football for 274 yards on 41 carries. That 6.7 a clip. They had four touchdowns. That way, Stetson was fine. 17 out of 29, 213 yards, one touchdown. Didn't have to really do anything. Well, no. Tennessee started off awesome. Tennessee, you know, their offense scored first drive. They were averaging five yards a play. It, it was They could get a first, and they were running the football down their throat, by the way. They were getting five yards a rush every time they, they ran the football. And and they they drove the ball right down the throat. Yes. And 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 after the first two drives, three drives really, because the first drive resulted in zero points. After after their first three drives, it all went away. Derek Miller said, look at every game Georgia has played, waiting on you to make a mistake when you do it's game over. Yeah. Yep. Hundred percent. That's it. That's it. Tennessee looked really good the first three drives. And then then they threw the pick. And then it was over. Yes, 100%. But Tennessee did have them on the ropes early. They showed some early. somewhat of a blueprint that you could try and take advantage of. It's just, can you do it the entire ball game? And I don't know that anybody is capable of doing that for an entire ball game. So, uh, Not against that defense, I don't. Nope, nope, not at all. Next game. It, it also didn't help that after the first three drives, Tennessee, I think, had four different starters offensively get carted off or go off to the locker room. Yeah. That – when you're Tennessee, you definitely can't lose four starters, and their offense never looked the same the rest of the game. True, like that's True. a that's a not making excuses and not saying that they could have beaten Georgia or whatever. I'm just saying it. You don't have the depth of the talent to be able to lose four starters against that team. Agreed, agreed, and they they were already hurting on depth anyway, so it didn't it didn't help. In this situation. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.